Hi everybody, here's a quick video you can use as a resource for your homework tonight. We're doing lesson 3.2, estimating products. I'm going to do number two and number three, and I'm going to show you both methods that we learn in class today. The first method I'm going to use is rounding. I'm going to look at the factors for number two. And I know that on a number line, 63 is closer to 60 than it is to 70. So I'm going to round this to 60. I'm going to look at my other factor, which is 19. 19 is closer to 20 than it is to 10. So I'm going to round it up to 20. Solving this is fairly simple mental math. We just cover up the zeros and use our base fact, 6 times 2. 6 times 2 is 12. I had covered up two zeros, so I'm going to add those back on to my estimate. My estimate for 63 times 19 is 1,200. Now I'm going to do number three using compatible numbers, which is something different we learned in class today. Compatible numbers are familiar numbers that we use every day, such as 15 or 25. I'm going to look at this number 27. I could use the compatible number 25. 25 is actually closer to 27 than rounding it to 30 would be. So we're going to get a more accurate answer. If I look at my other factor, I don't really see a compatible number. So I'm just going to round that one to 40. On a number line, 42 would be closer to 40 than 50. Now I'm going to think, how can I solve this using mental math? Well, I could cover up the zero to start. Do I know 25 times 4? Well, I can think, do I know what 4 quarters would equal? 25 times 4 is 100. I did cover up one zero, so I'm going to make sure I add that back on to my estimate. So the estimate for 27 times 42 using compatible numbers is 1,000. Certainly you can choose either method, but we learned today that if you choose a compatible number, you'll get a more accurate answer. I hope this helps everyone. Have a great night. Thank you.